the nothing exercise, teaching your dog how to be calm and settled in the house. Is your dog driving you crazy? Will he just not leave you alone? Is he hyper even after exercising or being outside? Is he chewing everything in sight? Destroying your home? No matter how cute they are, wouldn't you rather have a dog that's calm and settled? Transforming from crazy to this? Hi, I'm Sue Sternberg. I'm a dog trainer and I want to show you something called the nothing exercise. And it's literally teaching your dog how to do nothing with you since a lot of our time with dogs is spent with them doing nothing. Uh, it's basically an exercise in how they can learn to calm down and just settle. So the basic premise is put a nice dog bed down or some blankets, something soft. Underneath here is a microfiber mat. Um, it's done on leash. I don't use any treats or uh, treats or toys or as a reward for this. I'll use petting and praise. I want this exercise to be very low key and very calm. And so um, I have the leash. I'm gonna gather the leash so that it's not in her face or dangling. I'm gonna gather the leash tight in both hands with about 12 inches from my hands to the clip. I'm gonna put my hands between my knees and I'm literally just going to wait. And the technique is called capturing. It's like going fishing for a behavior. So fishing can sometimes take a while. I don't care how long the first time takes. And she has no idea what I want from her. The only thing she knows is that she's not getting any attention from me right now. I'm not making any eye contact with her and I'm just waiting. What I'm hoping is that the mat, the bed, will encourage her, will tempt her to lie down and when she does, I'm going to give her some attention. And again, she has no idea why we're just sitting here, why she's on leash in the house, she has no idea. If you happen to be fostering during this time when you're um, self-quarantining, this is a great exercise to do with your foster dog. Good girl. So I'm gonna smile very calmly stroke her on her back, very slowly and deeply. Good girl, good. Now I'm gonna sit back up. Usually at this point, the dog just gets up and starts um, looking for attention. Again, she has no idea what just happened. She happened to lie down because it felt right to her. As soon as she did, I smiled, I looked at her, I talked to her in a, in a quiet way, and I gave her some petting. So the second time usually takes less time than the first because her brain has an inkling that there was some behavior that got my attention. And again, until I, I look for both ends to be on the ground, it's my criteria. And uh, I know that if I wait, she'll do it. This first session takes the longest. After that, she'll start uh, lying down really quickly. She'll start lying down really quickly as I sit in the chair. She'll understand that um, the way to get her attention. Good girl. She's so good. And again, slow petting. You can just do their back if that's all they like, if they don't mind their head. And again, deep, if she were, if she gets excited like that, I'll just stop. If she remains down, that's all normal. There's more reps I can get in like this at the beginning where she actually gets up. She's gonna learn that it's the act of staying calm, the staying down that gets her the attention she needs. So this is all great. 
and uh, subsequent sessions will not take this long. I know maybe you think, oh, I don't have time in my day to do this, but you do. How we want our dogs to behave is something that not a lot of them know how to do naturally, especially if they've never been an indoor pet, if somebody kept them outside or, um, or created them too much or, or however they were treated. To be successful living in a home with a person means learning how to lie down and just do nothing. When I first start the exercise, I will pet her and praise her frequently. Uh, and then, maybe when I do this exercise later today, or when I do this with her tomorrow, I might, I will pet her immediately when she lies down the first time. And then maybe I'll space out the amount of time I wait before I pet her again. Good girl, good. And sometimes I can just reinforce her verbally I want to be able to relax. I want to be able to shift around, sit more, to sit more comfortably. I want to be able to breathe or, or work on a computer. Wherever it is, the leash initially will become the cue. The bed, the mat will become the cue. And I can move this around so that I might use my kitchen chair, or my dining room chair, move the mat closer to that practices in different parts of the house. The way I'll end the session, the training session, is I'll wait till she's uh, settled, like she's over on one hip here, but she's calmer than when we started. I always want to make sure that I don't ignore her good girl when she's like this. And then to end it, I'm going to touch her and I'm going to say a release word. Okay, good girl can get up. Sometimes the best thing we can do with a dog isn't an activity, but is actually to teach them just to do nothing. Good girl.